Hello and welcome to this demonstration on the accessibility features available in Windows 11 because Microsoft has introduced several features to enhance accessibility, allowing users with diverse needs to have a more inclusive experience. So let's explore these tools designed to make Windows easier to use for everyone. So let's switch to the Windows 11 machine and here it is the windows machine is on the screen and now to access the accessibility settings overview we need to open the settings or we could use the windows i shot key to open the settings so there are both ways so let's right click to the start and open the settings from here and there you on the left under these list of options, you have the option accessibility. So let's click here. And now you can see that you have various categories like vision and hearing and interaction, which offers features designed to cater to different needs. So there is a lot of options that you can customize and make your experience more personal. Now let's start with the text size and if you go here you can easily increase the text size across windows without affecting the quality of display. Adjust the slider from here and apply the changes to see larger more readable text instantly and you can click to apply that changes in an instance like that and it is for those who feel difficulty and they are unable to read the standard size text so you can adjust it right from here but let's make it standard and click to apply and there is another way for the user with visual impairments to read and navigate you can open what the magnifier tool so here you have to click to the start and on the start you're going to find you can type magnifier and here's the app so when this magnifier app launches it will you know zoom out the specific area on the screen that you really wanted to see and you can toggle it on here and adjust the zoom level that is making easier for the user having difficulty to read and navigate to the small tab and if you wanted to manage the screen size for your accessibility and the magnifier app that how it's working and maybe you don't want this much zoom so you can hover your mouse on your magnifier app and here you can select the zoom level that you really want it to have on the screen so right now it's 200 and you can make it to like thousand or a lot more it's it's dependent on your requirement so let me close the magnifier so you have two ways to see the text in in a larger font first if you can increase the text from here and the second one you can use this magnifier tool then let's go back and explore some other options in the accessibility and here you can see the color filter and high contrast mode. So first we will open the colors and here you can see that Windows 11 supports color filter for user with color blindness. Choose from filters like grayscale or inverted colors or specific option for red, green, or blue, yellow color blindness. And additionally, high contrast mode can be enabled for enhanced readability by using the contrasting and here's the options that you can open like that and you can apply any filter that helps you to judge each color and it fix it it, it can be fixed according to your you know the vision and your color color blindness or shade blindness all you can easily recover your 
visual than your view by adjusting the color filter on the Windows 11 environment. But if you are good to go and you want to go with the default color filters and color shades, then you can click to turn it off. So that's how you can manage your color filters. And also you have these contrast themes where you can manage some personalization settings and also it will something to do with the contrast themes. You can click to the contrast themes and you can select any of it from here. And currently it is set to none and you can make it desert, desert or aquatic, whatever you require and whatever suits pets to your visual experience and your issues with you know just focusing on the graphical interface of Windows 11 and in the same way you have another tool that helps your accessibility to the Windows 11 environment which is the narrator and it is a screen reading tool built in in Windows 11 it reads a loud text on the screen making it easier for a visually impaired user to understand the content and simply turn it on here like that and it will start navigating your computer through audio feedback and it works like that so narrator you dialog skip for now and here you can Button. see all plus s new natural voices reading. are available and here you can see One, that it start reading and whenever you find this blue border across any button or any text which means the narrator is reading that specific task so you can click to skip for now narrator or you can disable the narrator welcome to narrator. And you can exit this from here but this is the way you can narrator turn dialogue. off and turn it on skip for now. the narrator Settings. narrator window head exiting narr now we have successfully managed to turn off the narrator but it helps to the person to the users who have issues and you know the visually impaired user who are unable to read the tags and anything so this narrator will read everything for this user and then they can easily navigate what they are doing and where their mouse is right now now here's narrator voice you can customize you can change the voice from here as well that is by default set to Microsoft David then you can change it to Zira or Microsoft Mark, Microsoft David Desktop, Microsoft Zero Desktop. It's up to you in your choice that what voice you wanted to add. And there are some more options for narrator customization like narrator add natural voices. You can click to add and here you can install some packages for female voice for any other you know voices that feels you like more natural as compared to the default voices that are already installed in the install in the Windows 11 environment and here you can change lower the volume of other apps when narrator is speaking you can turn it on so it will lower down let's say you are watching a video on the YouTube and the narrator is on so it will low down the YouTube video voice a little and the narrator voice will be seems high as compared to the YouTube video and here you can select the medium that where you want to send this narrator voice so right now this machine is on the RDP so it is using the default audio device but if you have multiple device so you can set this specific device for this narrator audio output so here have a look that you can see you have a lot of options and tools for accessibility features and then you have like other options which you can see like hearing audio and you know caption so let's explore the caption because Windows 11 include closed caption customization that allowing user to personalize text size color and background of the caption which is particularly helpful for user who are deaf or hard of hearing so it does what that it will convert all the audio that is running on the screen in the in the caption and you just need to turn on 
this live caption option from here and then you will start getting the caption of each and every you know the video and audio that is running on your Windows 11 machine so this helps all such user who have some you know hearing issue or deaf or hard of hearing can easily start reading that what is being played then you have the mono audio audio options and because in the Windows 11 mono audio is available for user who have hearing impairments in one ear and combining a stereo sound channel into one channel so nothing is missed when listening to media or calls you can turn it on like toggle on the button like that also you can customize this thing like that that here it shows flash my screen during audio notification so you can set it to flash the title bar of the active window flash the active window flash the entire screen so it's up to you in your requirement and here you can manage the sound level of your machine and it, it took you to the sound setting of your Windows 11 device but right now we are not deeply discussing this sound and all that stuff we are just you know exploring the accessibility features then you have another option which is the voice access that you could found in the speech section so if you click to the speech you will have this option because Windows 11 introduces voice access that enabling you to control your PC with your voice so voice access allows you to perform tasks such as opening apps browsing or dictating text without a keyboard or mouse so simply follow the setup prompts and start with commands like open settings so you have to you know follow these commands and then you have to speak those commands out loud and then your machine is started to perform according to the command now here it says if you enable this option is tight voice access before you sign into the PC then it will work like that before signing you will use your voice for the commands to your Windows 11 machine and in the same way start voice access after you sign into your PC so these are some customization regarding the voice access that you can add here and here the Windows speech recognition if you turn it on so you can dictate because right now this is the VM so we cannot move for further in these options to show you how it works but we can elaborate the concept here in this video and definitely we will give you another separate video to show you that how it works on the voice command now here in the voice typing dictate text with your voice press windows logo plus edge to select the mic button on the touch keypad to dictate text anytime you are in the text box so when you are in the text box or you have opened the notepad file so you need to press this key combination and that that will let you to just dictate the text that you really wanted to type on that notepad and there is another short key to turn on this is speech recognition which is the Windows control plus X and that will turn on this Windows speech recognition so these are some more options that add more ease to the Windows 11 user then the Windows offer keyboard accessibility options like the sticky keys toggle keys filter keys and these feature assist user with the limited dexterity by simplifying complex key combination and providing audio feedback for certain keys and filtering out accidental key presses and which you can easily enable from here because here it says press keyboard shortcut that use multiple keys such as control plus X one key at a time so you can enable it like that and here you just need to press one key at a time to access your specific option then the filter key set the sensitivity of the keyboard so it can ignore brief or repeated keystroke then for the toggle keys if you enable this option it will play a sound 
when you press the caps num or scroll lock then the other options notify me when I turn on the stick key filter or toggle key from the keyboard so if you keep selecting these options it will this will definitely let you know about your changes in your keyboard accessibility options then you have on the screen keyboard and it also gives you the shortcut key so press the windows logo press control plus o to turn on this on a screen keyboard but this shot key is currently disabled so you can enable it and then it will start work and there are other keys like underline access keys so the access key will be underlined even when not holding alt at the moment then you have the typing spell checked autocorrect or text suggestion that you can further manage from here and we have missed few options to explore in the magnifier so let's go back to the accessibility and let's open it again we are not repeating just we have missed that part so here it does what the press windows plus sign in to sign to turn on magnifier press windows logo key plus escape to turn it off so when you turn it on you will see that your windows 11 magnifier Will be available here and you can any point you can you know set up the zoom level how much you want because currently it is set to 200 you can set the default zoom to 100 200 or whatever and how much the larger text in the pictures and the graphical interface you wanted to see you can set up here then this view option because from here you have seen that while we are you know using the magnifier whenever we hover our mouse on the screen the magnifier goes with your moist mouse pointer so you can disable this option from here and then what will happen that when you open the magnifier it will not follow your mouse mouse pointer to just it start hovering on the screen and it gives you very you know confused and you know not a good display because when the zoom goes with your mouse pointer that definitely impact that how you can manage your windows environment and you know how you can select the options and how you can close this specific app on your windows machine so you can easily disable that thing from here you just need to remove the check from the mouse pointer so it just give you the enlarged view of the screen but it will not follow your mouse pointer so there are a lot more tools that we have discussed in the previous video and we have discussed here in this current video but in the in the end thanks for watching this demonstration of windows 11 accessibility features with tool designed for user with diverse abilities and Windows aims to create more inclusive experience. So we hope this video helped you discover ways to customize your Windows environment to meet your needs.